But first, a revolution of a different kind. Do you actually know what happens to the plastic you put in your recycling bin? You might be surprised to learn, until now, none of it has actually been recycled on our shores. That's news to me. So tomorrow, Wellington Company is launching a plant big enough to recycle all the plastic bottle waste that we produce. Jill Higgins has had the first look inside. Itching to show off their brand new setup. We're plastics machinery junkies. <laughs> <laughs> Proud to be breaking new ground for New Zealand. The amount of material that is saved from the landfill, the benefits are absolutely gigantic. Because Kiwis love their plastic. We buy more than 200 million plastic bottles a year. While plastics are often not seen in the most favourable light, they're tremendously beneficial product. We just couldn't live without it. The problem is they're made from imported petrochemical resin and about two-thirds go straight to fester in landfill. We've got to get onto that and, you know, reuse it more and more. So what happens to the bottles that do make it into the recycling bin? Well, they head to the sorting plant, get separated out and bailed up. So here they are. And how many do you think get recycled in this country? Well, it's been none until now. Welcome to New Zealand's first PET plastic wash plant. I don't want to hear sad songs anymore. I'm pretty pleased with it. Yeah, it's fantastic and it's been a long, it's been a long process. We, we've been at it for five or six years. What's happened until now? It was previously being put on a ship and sent all the way back to Asia. Now they stay here making products like this. It's a quantum step forward for New Zealand recycling. And here's how they do it. The PET bottles get separated from the rest and then they're given a good old wash or two. Once we've done that, we, we grind the bottles up into, into, into the flakes. And off they go again, flying past a camera. And if it sees one that's the wrong colour or the wrong material, it will, a little air jet will shoot it out of the stream and into a reject chute, into a bin. How does a camera identify what's wanted and what's not? The reflected light wave from the bottle um, is a certain frequency which identifies the, the plastic that that particular component is made of. This is the result. Bags and bags of flakes used to make all sorts of plastic containers, mostly square punnets, but the process is the perfect circle. All of that can then go around the loop again and be recycled another time and another time and another time. Why hasn't anything like this been done before? It's a very expensive process to, to set up and run. You then need a customer base who want to take the recycled product. So in here, we've got our, um, our finished goods store. That's where you come in. That's a lot of boxes. What we'll be putting in front of people is the opportunity to actually participate. You know, you can put your bottle in your recycling bin on a Sunday night and you can be, you can be buying it in the supermarket again a few weeks later. That is something that we feel people are really going to respond to, and I think it's a great story for the country. It is, and we want to keep it going. So what you're looking for, if you're heading in and buying anything, is flat mm. on the back of the containers, and then you'll know that it's going to that plant and then will be reused. And what they really need to keep it going are the big businesses to say, we're only going to use this Yeah, stuff. That, that's your tipping point scenario. So you're yeah. looking at something like that and you go, well, that's got, I don't know, blueberries, and I don't want blueberries today. I wanted the raspberries. The raspberry one isn't flight. I'm sorry, what have you dropped there? Is that your wallet? <laughs> Jeez, it was heavy too. We'll um, that out later. So you know what I'm saying? So you've got something that you don't necessarily want in there, and here's the problem. So that's what you yeah, those are the flakes that we talked about before that they turn turns into, into this. But I'll tell you what's exciting. There was also a story floating around today. There's a company called EPI in Dunedin, which is a plastics company, and they're for sale, as it turns out. But they were very proud of the fact that they maintained New Zealand production. So, in other words, everything goes to China, yep. right, because it's cheaper to do in China, the labour's cheaper, and so on and so forth. And that they've remained local. It's like the Sistema guy. Remember the Sistema yes, guy, the yes. plastics? He remained oh, local as well, and he, he sold for $600 million. It was extraordinary. Yeah. So it can be done here. And the more of this, the more jobs oh, we exactly. can create too. So that's a flight exactly. at the Exactly. All right. The